Hi everyone. Well, it's been a while. I've been so busy with clients and working on my free training on Friday. But I wanted to uh, share and just give you a couple questions to ask yourself if you can work more efficiently. You know, the number one thing that people want when you become an entrepreneur is not only to make money, but to have a life, to be able to have a business that runs smoothly and gives you the life that you want. And so I really wanted to unpack that, and I can't do it all today, but um, you can join me on my free training, which is uh, I'm going to talk about and teach uh, just, um, conscious selling and also, uh, you know, the bottom line is how to master your money code. This is for intelligent people. This is not just some like sleazy money scam. This is for intelligent people who have a lot of expertise and life experiences. And you've been through challenges and have been able to overcome them. And so if you want to sign up for that, there's a link at the bottom of, um, of this post. Um, and so today I wanted to just talk about, are, do you have a business or, <laughs> Tony, do you have a business or do you have busyness? So I specialize in marketing strategy and I, I've been just, it just boggles my mind when I see people, um, especially like the newer online people. So if you're, when I say newer, I mean like in the past maybe two years. And you fall into this world of Facebook and then you start to learn how you think a business should run, how other people are teaching it. So you probably are learning, you know, how to build a list, how to, um, how to uh, you know, put, do your social media, how to get followers. And so what a lot of people are struggling with is overlearning. You just end up um, learning a bunch of stuff. In fact, like there's B schools and C schools and all those different things. And they teach you like everything, like everything about an online business. And much of it you don't even need. I mean, if your end goal is to make money and have a life, um, half of those things you're never going to do. And what it does is it just clogs your brain because the reality is what people really pay you for is the value you deliver. And when you clog your brain with all these other things, you end up, uh, discounting that value and not focusing on why people, um, really want to buy from you. So, uh, so let's just, I'm just going to give you a couple of questions. Well, first of all, let me tell you why you, you need to do this. So everyone's teaching you to build a list, to do, you know, do your social media. And if you look at the people that are teaching it, uh, number one, uh, the, the really successful ones are like far and few in between. So, uh, you know, there are many different types of people out there. And if you, your personality is not like theirs, then there may be a problem there. Number two, you know, when this entrepreneurial system uh, was created, the online one, it was created at a time when people were just going online. And with the way that uh, the internet and technology at the fast pace that it's moving, I mean, like every other day you get an update for your phone, for your computer, a new app has come out. Last year, um, Snapchat, I don't know if it even existed, uh, you know, a couple years ago, Instagram didn't exist. So things are moving so quickly. And what is happening is that systems and things that used to work in the past, like build a list and all those things, um, aren't working as effectively now. You know, everybody and their mother has a Facebook group. And now the people that are teaching it that are actually earning money are just small individuals and everybody's like thinking that they have the answer, that they have their answer. And just like, you know, I was a shopping center marketing director for 25 years. So I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of stores and, you know, not 
everybody just didn't do the same thing because what works for a jewelry store does not work for a teen store. So you have to keep that in mind. And so, you know, is a list building uh, working for you? Um, are the thing, do you know why you're doing the things that you're doing? I hear a lot of people say, you know, I ask what their marketing is. Oh, I'm doing my social media. What does that mean? <laughs> like, you're doing your social media so you can get likes on there, but are those likes turning into money in your bank? So I'm just going to give you, you know, this is a short video, so I'm just going to give you the basics of what a marketing strategy is made up of. Number one, it's um, perspective. So when you look at your whole marketing plan and your business, what you need to do is really zoom out, like zoom out, like get a 360 view. What is actually going on? Is what you're doing translating into what, what is happening? So this is like, I can equate this to, I'm going from uh, New York to LA. If I'm going from New York to LA, I want to get on a flight that takes me from New York to LA. I don't want to go to Texas and then go to North Carolina and Florida and then uh, maybe um, hop on a plane to Alaska and then go to LA. But this is what I see many people doing with their, with their marketing is that you're taking this route that's like so weird and filled with busyness that you're not getting to your end goal, which is making money and having a life. And so, uh, so you have to zoom out like the 360 view and then you have to really zoom in. And I'm not just saying stop at your business, like zoom in, like, who are you? Why are you here? What are your motivations? What is your real goal? What does your mind do when you try to, to learn all these things? What supports your mind? Because confidence sells. Is what you're doing building your confidence? Those are all questions that you need to ask yourself when you zoom in. Number two, you need to have context. That means that how is everything flowing? You know, when you, when you go and you, um, you post on, on Instagram, most people have it like tied into your Facebook. Do you know why it's tied into your Facebook? Are you doing anything with that Facebook? Then what happens, you know, um, is your group, your Facebook group, separate from what you're doing with your Facebook ads? Is there like some sort of flow going on? Because if there's not, then you don't have a marketing strategy. You have tactical pieces that aren't working together to their highest efficiency. So this is something that keeps people in busyness and not in business. And that means that you're just doing these random things and not actually doing your goal. <laughs> like I said, if I'm going from New York to L.A., I want to get on a plane that takes me to L.A., I mean, personally, at least, that's what I want to do. Maybe you want to take a tour around to Europe, but then if your goal is to get to L.A. and you're off in Europe, then <laughs> do you see how you, you're delaying uh, your income, your freedom, whatever it is else that you want? In addition, if going to Europe makes me feel like an idiot because I don't speak the language and I'm trying to feel confident in L.A., <laughs> <laughs> then um, there's another problem. So how does everything flow from your marketing to your income to your mind? All those things need to flow as a machine. In fact, um, the purpose of having context and having flow is to achieve flow. For you as the business owner, Mihaly Chinsensei, <laughs> I massacred that name, um, he, uh, he um, discovered flow, which is the state of consciousness when time stands still. When you're so in your genius zone, I'm sure, I, I mean, I know if you're an intelligent entrepreneur, you're like, oh my God, like you're so on fire, like you don't even care about the notifications and things going on around you. You're so on fire, so in your genius zone. I get like this when I'm writing, when I'm creating, when I have like new ideas when you're in that genius zone, like nothing can break your concentration. And suddenly it's like, 
what? The day just went by and I'm so excited to wake up the next day. So when I started my business, that was my number one goal. I worked with someone who like the first time I met her, she was like running down the stairs. Me with like my, my health condition and you know, I, I spend a lot of time alone. And to see somebody so enthused about their business, I was like, that's what I want. And you know what? That's what I want and that's what I created. So I find that when my business is running well, I have that feeling. I'm in my genius zone. Time stands still. I'm so excited to get up the next day, even though I have to go through my health condition. What is your genius zone? Like, what is that state of flow? What is that feeling inside of you? Because it's not the, you know, $600 million that you want in your bank account that you want to go for. It's that feeling. Because that feeling is what's going to produce that $600 million. Okay, so context. The third thing are results, obviously. But there's something called inevitability thinking. Inevitability blah, blah, blah. (laughs) Inevitability thinking was created, uh, the term was created by Eben Pagan. He's like this, I mean, he really is a genius. And what he said is that in order to achieve the results that you want seamlessly, you need to set up the conditions to make sure that it be, that your results become inevitable. That means you know, with the flow and the perspective is what you're doing, you know, at a certain point leading you to your end results. Cause then you can work backwards and design a marketing strategy that works. So I'm going to end this with, um, the number one thing that your marketing strategy that your business should support. And there's three keys to making sure that it gets supported. And that's called your mind. Because without your genius mind, without your confidence in yourself, without feeling good every day, being you, I call it the autoimmunity of entrepreneurship. I see people beating themselves up in their heads, not realizing how your entire life makes up the genius that's inside of you. And every day, you know, it becomes, you're doing your social media and it's just, why not go get a job? Having a business, uh, especially as somebody like I know for me, I have a purpose. I really want to make a difference in other people's lives. In fact, I want to do that more than I want to make money. I want to make money to pay my bills. I want to change lives. And so maybe you have a purpose too. And so, you know, having your mind and having that feeling of success, even without the money, is important so that you can stop beating yourself up in your head. Because what ends up happening is if you don't, then you will get an autoimmune disorder because research shows that um, your thoughts and your nutrition, but your thoughts cause your cells to express a different way. And that's where cancer and Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and things like that are born. So whatever it is, you know, you don't have to listen to me, but just understand that your mind is the thing that's going to make your success. And so there are three things you need to make sure that you you strive for, no, ma- no matter what marketing you do, whatever whatever business you have, every day, it's that you want to feel competent, that what you're doing makes you feel intelligent. And if it doesn't, you need to ask yourself, do I really need to be doing this? And if I do, how can I do it so that I feel confident? So personally, I find that being on Facebook makes me, it steals, it steals my soul. I love my friends and I love my clients, but all the like other stuff, I just, you know, I had a birthday and I'm very appreciative for everyone wishing me happy birthday, but I had people's friends of friends wishing me happy birthday. They don't even know me. And it was just kind of weird. Like I spent a lot of time alone because of my health condition. And 
I really value the people that are close to me. And it was just, it, it was just, you know, I come from maybe, maybe I'm just old school, but I come from a day and age when, you know, real people um, and real connections matter. So even when I connect to people, I always try to like mess- message people because I want to get to know you. Like, I don't, you know, like I said, I would rather change lives than make money. Like, I, I'm, I, I really want to understand, you know, people. So anyway, if what you're doing doesn't make you feel competent, then you need to figure out a way that it can. Number two, it needs to be relational. So you need to, you know, f- to have your mind and build your mind, you need to have relationships and have them work in your life. So if you're in a Facebook group or, you know, you're surrounding yourself with people that maybe they're, you know, you've been told you become the five people that you surround yourself with, but maybe like the people you surround yourself with, maybe they're like above you, but maybe they make you feel bad. Then you need to really understand, you know, what relationships are important to you and what supports you in such a way that you build your confidence in your mind. And the last thing is, is autonomy that, um, you want to be able to, alone have the know that the genius lives inside of you not relying on the 20 different coaches that everyone's telling you to hire so I do believe coaching is important to business owners but I'm, I, feel, I feel very different than what most people think is that if you don't spend some time alone trying to figure out what works for you and you, all you have to have somebody else keep telling you what is working for you, then you're never going to learn internal trust with yourself. And when all of that goes away, and at the end of the day, every day, and you, you have your head alone on your pillow, there's no coach that's going to work you work that through you. You know, my parents died. I have a health condition. I spend seven hours a day alone in solitude in my bathroom in not pleasant conditions. And I'm so glad because the one thing I have over everybody else is a mind. I'm so in tune with myself that I am able to overcome many things myself. And that makes me trust myself. So the bottom line is, is your business, your marketing strategy, the people around you should make you trust yourself. That's the end goal. So anyway, Michael, I hope that, you know, um, I hope that that has helped you really understand how to have a business that works. There's a man, Michael Canale, that has a business that works. I don't know if you actually have heard of him and you should probably like connect with him and follow him, but you know, he does Jennifer Aniston's hair. He does so many celebrities and he does my hair and you know what? He treats me just as, just like he cheat, treats his, the celebrity people. Because this man who has built this multi-million dollar empire, w- number one, works so hard because he loves it. Number two, doesn't spend time following other people. He just developed his own skills. Number three, treats everyone with love and respect, no matter what their status. So, you know... Learn from people that, that you respect, that have a, a life, not like just the money life, but that, that, that are just amazing because they're amazing. To me, you know, those are people I follow and those are people that I respect. Anyway, Harlow's getting loud. Join me on my free class on Friday. Um, it's called Master Your Money Code and... Uh, I'm going to teach conscious selling for purposeful entrepreneurs. And you can sign up at, uh, at M- mymc-webinar.totalgenius.net. There's a link at the bottom of this post. And please share this with people. You know, if there's one thing I want to stop is this autoimmunity of entrepreneurship. I really want to help people. I want to help you. I want to help everyone just understand that Our minds are our tools, and beating ourselves up is just being human, and it's okay as long as you understand that there's a way to overcome it, 
and to trust yourself in the end that nobody is going to teach you anything about yourself that you don't already know inside of you and it lives inside of you and it's just waiting to come out. So anyway, that's it. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and personal branding strategist at TotalGenius.net. Come join me at the Genius Collective on Facebook and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.